an Oklahoma veteran getting support from his community. One Broken Arrow business is donating 100% of today's proceeds to giving one vet a new home. Two Works View reporter Megan Allison shows us why extreme racing chose to get involved on Memorial Day. The season is heating up at extreme racing and entertainment. But during this business's busiest time of the year, they're choosing to help Homes for Our Troops and retrofit a house for an Oklahoma veteran. He was injured one month into his deployment in Iraq um, by an IED, lost both legs um, from the knees down. Adam Putt says he's looking to regain his independence. The manager here hopes to raise ten dollars to $15,000 to offset the impact of Putt's injuries. How he chose Blanchard, I don't know, but he said that's where I want to be, so they bought the land. Um, and they're getting ready to do groundbreaking, so we'll, we'll kind of be able to kickstart that um, with our own help here, helping, you know, helping another Oklahoman. For staff at the racetrack, this cause hits close to home. So both of my grandfather served. Um, fortunately, got them both back. Um, my brother-in-law served. He graduated West Point, um, went to Afghanistan twice. Um, you know, and just, it's hard to put into words um, what Memorial Day is. The veterans who raced for the cause today tell us this is a way to connect with their brothers and sisters after time in the service. It's like I get to keep serving. I get, uh, it's like when I did my duty and whatever I did, I did something simple like work on generators and equipment. But when I saw those things go to work and the mission get completed, I felt really good. Joe Marengo served during peacetime. Following his service, he worked for Veterans Affairs and now is dedicating his retirement to causes like this one. It's a wonderful feeling when I worked at the VA, I missed it. So I'm, I guess I'm doing this in my retirement because I'm still greedy for that good feeling of helping these people. It feels really good to know that people like him are going to have a home. The track is open until 10, but staff plan to stick around longer if people want to keep donating. Reporting in Broken Arrow, Megan Allison, Two Works For You.